And at number one, we have the Hermes Kelly bag, with prices starting at well over £6,500 for the Mini Kelly. The Hermes Kelly bag is one of the most valuable, sought after and coveted luxury bags of all time. The Hermes Kelly bag comes with a storied history and took over 50 years before it was officially named the Kelly. First introduced in 1935, the Kelly bag was originally called the Sac de Peches before it was catapulted to wealth status by fashion icon, American born actress turned Monica princess, Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly carried the bag everywhere. And on one occasion in 1956, she was photographed innovatively using the gorgeous accessory as a camouflage to hide her growing pregnancy from paparazzi. It was the public who actually named the Sac de Peches the Kelly bag, and it was eventually renamed the Kelly in 1977. For almost a century, the Hermes Kelly bag has become an icon, transcending fashion as a keepsake and heirloom. And at number two, we have the Hermes Birkin bag, with prices starting at well over £7,000 for the Birkin 25. Hermes Birkin bags are amongst the most desired items in luxury fashion industry. The Hermes Birkin is named after a cultural icon, the singer, actress and model Jane Birkin, an English actress based in France during the majority of her career. The Birkin came to existence following an exchange between Jane Birkin and former Hermes chief Jean-Louis Dumas, who met by chance on a flight from Paris to London in the early 80s. Jane explained to Dumas it was hard to find a leather weekend bag that she liked. Dumas suggested she needed one with pockets, and this sparked a conversation about her ideal bag. Dumas immediately pulled out a pencil and an airplane sick bag, and the two designed a sketch for the Birkin. Hermes officially debuted the now iconic Birkin bag in 1984. The Hermes Birkin bag is the ultimate status symbol of wealth. The exclusiveness of the Hermes Birkin bag is steeped in celebrating history, heritage, tradition and craftsmanship. And at number three, we have the Chanel 255, with prices starting at upwards of £3,650 for the mini bag and upwards of £7,550 for the medium size. The Chanel reissue 255 prototype was first released in 1925. Initially made from woolen fabric, a quilted jersey material and featured a rectangular twisting lock with very short strap, which meant you could only carry it on the crook of your arm or as a clutch. Gabrielle Coco Chanel then updated and revamped the design she'd been evolving and it wasn't until February 1955 that Coco Chanel debuted a shoulder-carried version of the bag, and the end product was called the 255 after the date and launch of the creation. The Chanel 255 was initially discontinued shortly after the release of the Chanel Classic Flap due to its popularity, but later the late Karl Lagerfeld decided in 2005 to bring it back and called it the reissue 255 bag. Chanel released an exact duplicate of the original 255 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the original 255. The Chanel Reissue 255 holds the history and longevity of a true icon. The bag is not only the most iconic bag from the fashion house, but is also one of the most iconic handbags in the fashion world as a pioneer. And at number four, we have the Louis Vuitton Alma with prices starting at upwards of £1,260 for the BB size. Created in 1934 by Gaston Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton armour bag was actually rumoured to be a custom-made bag at the request of Gabrielle Chanel. But it wasn't until years later that Coco Chanel gave her permission to manufacture the bag for general consumption of all fashionistas. Although the armour is now one of the most recognisable handbags in the world, it has taken several decades for this model to evolve. It was first redesigned in 1950s and called the name Sac Marceau. It was then redesigned to be more compact and modernised for everyday use and renamed the Squire Bag. An additional year, few years later, it was renamed the Sac Champ Elise. Yet again, the bag model reappeared in 1992 with an updated and revitalised design and slimmer profile, decked out in Louis Vuitton's signature monogram canvas and given the name Alma, a tribute to place the Alma a landmark spot in the tree-lined square in Paris, where the Avenue Montaigne meets the Sienne in the Paris High Fashion District. 
The Alma is a lovely, sophisticated bag that is timeless and classic. And at number five, we have the Dior Lady Dior, with prices starting at upwards of £3,900 for the small size. Since its debut, the Lady Dior handbag has never stopped turning heads. The Lady Dior bag is undeniably a classic bag, a bag fit for a princess. This iconic bag was actually endorsed and elevated by the style and elegance of a real-life princess and became one of the favourite chosen accompanying bags of one of the world's most adored princesses. The original Lady Dior bag was debuted in 1994 under the creative director of Jean-Franco Fur. The elegant bag was yet to be named and was officially called the Chouchou, a French term of endearment which in English means favourite. Bernadette Chirac, France's former first lady, is said to have asked the world-renowned Dior to make a special item for Princess Diana for her visit to France, as she wished to give her a unique gift for the occasion as a token of French culture. The house offered her the chouchou, and it was created in leather for the first time and completed from start to finish in record time in a single night. The bag was presented to the princess at the inauguration of the Paul Cézanne exhibition at the Grand Palais in Paris. And Diana absolutely loved it from its first appearance and from that moment onwards. The Lady Dior made history and was catapulted to iconic bag status. The larger series was officially launched in 1996, paying homage to Princess Diana, when the Dior Fashion House officially changed the name of the Shushu to the Lady Dior bag. With a few amendments and updates, the Lady Dior still remains one of the true classic and iconics from Dior. Synonymous with star elegance and beauty, the Lady Dior is rich in history and heritage. And at number six, we have the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bag with prices starting at upwards of £1,060 for the 25 size. When introduced, the Speedy was an instant success. But before the Speedy came into existence, its precursor was the Keepal. George Vuitton invented the signature Keepal as the perfect travel companion as an overnight weekend bag. The Keepal model was so popular that soon after a smaller version, under the name The Express, was created. The Express was a pure travel accessory designed for more personal effect, so that travellers could keep their travel essentials close. The Express was then adapted once again to meet the demands of the busy woman of the time. With that, in 1932, the Express was referred to and renamed to the Speedy. A year after its debut, Louis Vuitton reintroduced the Speedy in the monogram canvas. Even though the Speedy bag continued to grow in popularity, it can be argued that it did not become the timeless iconic bag it is today until Audrey Hepburn was seen carrying one in the 1960s. The Louis Vuitton Speedy has endured the test of time and trend to remain one of the most iconic bags in fashion history. And at number seven, we have the Chanel Classic Flat. With prices starting at upwards of £7,090 for the small size and upwards of £7,550 for the medium size. From the expert craftsmanship to the beautiful and rich history behind this bag, the Chanel Classic Fat is most definitely a classic and timeless forever bag. The story of the Chanel Classic Flat bag is rooted in the creation of the Chanel 255 bag. The original 255 had been redesigned multiple times over the years, but the most significant adaptation was created by the late Karl Lagerfeld in 1983. He introduced a new version of the 255 called the Chanel Classic Flat also known as the 1112. Lagerfeld made a few changes to the 255 to make the elegant and timeless Chanel Classic Flap, updating the bag with a few distinctive features, innovatively changing the classic square twisting lock of the 255, known as the Mademoiselle Lock, to the iconic interlocking CC Lock Clasp hardware, one of the main characteristic differences between the 255 and the Chanel Classic Flap, staying true to the original while showcasing its own sophisticated flair signature. The classic flap is a bag that has stood the test of time and fashion. And at number eight, we have the Fendi Peekaboo bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,850 for the Fendi Peekaboo ICU petite size and upwards of £3,200 for the Fendi Peekaboo mini. The Fendi Peekaboo bag debuted on the runway for the Spring Summer 2009 collection and was created by Sylvia Venturini Fendi, the granddaughter of Adele and Eduardo Fendi, who is credited with designing and launching one of Fendi's most timeless and iconic bags. The Fendi Peekaboo bag was envisioned as a timeless heirloom, a classic that can be passed on to the next generation. 
Fendi has imagined and revitalized the Fendi peekaboo season after season, solidifying its appeal to women from all generations. Famed for its iconic design, the peekaboo bag takes its name from the popular children's game Hide and Seek, and also gets its name from its unusual construction, where the two internal compartment halves are divided in the middle by a rigid partition by a metal bar. This creates a front flap that can be pushed down to reveal the central partition and the artistry of the bag inside. This gives the peekaboo an element of surprise as it gives you a peek revealing the interior with the engraved Fendi logo plate. The peekaboo is a simple, complex and timeless bag. The appeal lies in its understated sophistication and elegance, with a discreet if you know you know appeal as it's not loud or embossed with any logos. The peekaboo is a testament to the bag's timeless look and Fendi's quality craftsmanship has proven to stand the test of time. And at number nine, we have the Delvo Brillion bag. With prices starting at upwards of £4,600 for the mini size. Le Brillion bag was created in 1958 as part of Delvo's collection for when Brussels hosted the World Fair. Said to be inspired by the Philips Pavilion, a remarkable structure designed by the office of Le Cabousier by Swiss French architect Charles Edouard de Genere with the building fittingly named Le Brillion. Elegant and sophisticated, the beautiful Brillion bag has won over hearts of the elites and socialites for more than six decades. The Brillion bag is a perfect finishing touch to every outfit, a beautiful bag for all seasons. From the classic to the fanciful, the Brillion bag has been reimagined multiple times, but still exudes the sophistication and elegance with the unique Delvaux Savoir Faire and superior mastery that makes it highly desired and confetted for those looking for stealth luxury pieces. And at number 10, we have the Gucci Bamboo Bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,230 for the mini size. One of the world's very first it bags can be arguably said to be the Gucci Bamboo Bag. Few bags are as recognisable and as creative as the curved, semi-circular handle of the famous Gucci Bamboo Bag, which helps catapult Gucci to worldwide recognition. The famous Gucci Bamboo Bag was designed and released in 1947 in select Gucci boutiques. Wartime rations created material shortages in 1947, impacting the fashion industry, including Gucci, due to the fact that the materials to create bags were limited. However, Gucci artisans found an innovative solution and created a new bag design that could be produced despite the embargoes. They came up with the brilliant idea to incorporate bamboo into their handbags. Gucci found and used bamboo, which was extremely durable and easily imported from Japan to craft their luxury handbags. The usage of bamboo was also reduced the amount of leather to make the bag and the cost. The bamboo handles were synonymous with Gucci from the 1940s onwards. The Gucci bamboo bag is the fashion house's cornerstone design and still remains a favourite today as an essential part of the identity of the Gucci fashion house that will forever leave a distinguished legacy in the brand. And at number 11, we have the Hermes Constance bag with prices starting at upwards of circa £6,500 to £7,000 for the Constance 18. In 1959, Hermes employed a designer by the name of Catherine Chaillet, who gave birth to a girl by the name of Constance. To honour this momentous event, Catherine decided to name one of her handbag designs after her child. The first Constance left the Hermes production line to the stores on the day of the birth of Catherine's child. The Constance immediately gained popularity through the endorsement of former First Lady Jackie Kennedy, who favoured the Hermes Constance bag. The Constance is an architecturally inspired bag, classic in appeal, but still contemporary in design. The Hermes Constance is a bag that has endured the test of time, modern yet classic, functional and versatile, chic and effortless. The Constance is a great investment. Then at number 12, we have the Louis Vuitton Capucins bag with prices starting at upwards of £4,350 for the mini size. The Louis Vuitton Capucins is one of the most highly desired and sought after Louis Vuitton bags. Launched in 2013, it was quite a departure from the signature Louis Vuitton monogrammed canvas designs, typical of the Louis Vuitton fashion house. Yet the Capucins is the ultimate exemplar of Louis Vuitton's savoir faire in leather handbag making which has always been a part of Louis Vuitton's DNA. The name of the Capucins pays homage to the location of the first ever Louis Vuitton boutique and workshop opened in 1854 
in Paris near Place Vendôme, on a small street at Rue Nueve des Capucins, later renamed Rue des Capucins. The Capucins is a classic piece worth the investment, loved by women looking for something timeless and elegant. And at number 13, we have the Chanel Trendy CC Bag, with prices starting at upwards of £5,670 for the medium size. Launched in Chanel's Spring 2014 collection, the Chanel Trendy CC handbag is another one of Chanel's most desired bags. When initially released, the Trendy was thought of as a woman's working alternative to the classic flat. Functional yet stylish, and the bag was an instant hit. The shape and silhouette of the Trendy CC is said to be reminiscent of that of the Hermes Kelly, but it is the Trendy CC's distinctive feature that distinguishes it from other classics. The Trendy CC is a functional, practical and easy to use bag as an everyday companion. A timeless, sophisticated, classic bag, it is definitely one to consider for your luxury collection. And at number 14, we have the Chanel Coco Handle Bag, with prices starting at upwards of £4,000 for the small size. Named after Gabrielle Coco Chanel, the Coco Handle was first introduced in Chanel's Full Winter 2015 collection. The Coco Handle has a more trapezoidal structured silhouette and features a top handle with a distinctive front flap. The Coco Handle was originally a seasonal bag that first became a staple Chanel classic. The Chanel Coco Handle is another bag said to be a cross between the classic flap and the Hermes Kelly and is sometimes called the flap bag with handle. The Chanel Coco Handle bag imbues all the signature Chanel house codes, including the diamond and chevron quilting styles, the interlocking CC logo with the twist clasp, the interwoven leather and chain strap, in addition to the signature Mona Lisa pocket on the exterior of the bag. Although featuring many similarities to the Chanel Classic Flap, the Chanel Coco handle still stands its ground amongst the other popular Chanel handbag designs. The Chanel Coco handle bag has been such a success and an icon in its own right that it's now offered every season. The Chanel Coco handle is a practical and functional fashion forward bag that will complement any wardrobe. The Chanel Coco handle is truly a timeless piece that will never go out of style. And at number 15, we have the Chanel Luggage Tote, with prices starting at upwards of £1,850 for the nano size. The Celine Luggage Tote is one of the most iconic bags offered by the Celine Fashion House. Debuted in 2010 under the then creative director Phoebe Philo, its popularity only surged after a relaunch of the bag which was then spotted on the arms of celebrities, including the Olsen twins. This quickly created a media frenzy and shortly after, the bag was selling out in stores and online. The Celine Luggage Tote Bag is a timeless, functional classic bag, often referred to as the Smile Bag. The Celine Luggage Tote's timeless and classic design transcends time and fashion trends. Each season, Celine releases new variations, but its minimalistic appearance remains forever. Celine has an effortless, chic aesthetics with an if-you-know-you-know -you -know appeal and the Celine luggage tote exudes all these Celine attributes. And at number 16, we have the Prada Galleria bag with prices starting at upwards of £2,800 for the small size. Combining quality with classic designs is a Prada specialism. With the Prada Galleria being the timeless, classic and most recognisable piece that epitomizes this. Rooted in Prada tradition, the Prada Galleria is Prada's most iconic bag to date. The bag is also often referred to as the Safiano Lux, after the leather it is made of. The Prada Galleria was first debuted in 2007, paying homage to the history of Prada's humble beginnings to Galleria Vittorio Emmanuel II, where Mario Prada opened his first store in Milan in 1913. The Galleria is a classic piece that will never go out of style. For an easy go-to bag and a safe investment option in your luxury collection, the Prada Galleria bag is one to consider. And at number 17, we have the Saint Laurent 
set the jour bag, with prices starting at upwards of £1,625 for the nano size. The Sac de Jour was debuted under creative director Edi Suleimani in the Fall Winter 2014 collection. Seen on the arms of socialites and celebrities alike, the Sac de Jour bag fast became an it bag due to its practical nature and its minimal yet stylish look. The name Sac de Jour translates into bag of the day and is the perfect everyday handbag. It is a signature handbag for the Saint Laurent fashion house and remains one of the most coveted and iconic styles. The Sac de Jour bag is an edgy, stylish, contemporary and effortlessly cool and is undoubtedly a timeless shape, a seasonless choice and a true classic. And at number 18, we have the Loewe Amazona bag with prices starting at upwards of £2,000 for the 19 size. Originally designed in 1975, marking the new era in Spanish society, the Amazona has been making a statement ever since. The Amazona bag is forever associated with powerful females. Named after the female characters of Greek mythology, the Amazonas, a race of warrior women, the Loewe Amazona bag is a revolutionary bag created at a time of major cultural shift when women were gaining their equality and independence in the workplace. The Amazona was designed to celebrate women's newfound feminine freedom. It was designed to be liberating, embodying and personifying the spirit of the era. The Loewe Amazona bag is a bag that is practical, comfortable and versatile, with enough space to hold everything needed over the course of a working day. The Loewe Amazona bag is designed for all kinds of occasions, the perfect accompaniment to any outfit that suits all kinds of styles. The Amazona was the first 24-hour bag to combine style and functionality. It speaks on behalf of the brand's everlasting mission of beautiful craft. The Amazona bag is the ultimate investment of premium craftsmanship and timeless sophistication. The Amazona bag will continue to stand the test of time and fashion and keep a stronghold in your wardrobe forever. And at number 19, we have the Givenchy Antigona bag with prices starting at upwards of £1,380 for the mini size. The Givenchy Antigona bag has been one of the most popular and highly sought after bags from the Givenchy fashion house. The Givenchy Antigona bag was launched in the winter 2010 collection and it instantly took the world by storm. Released under the creative direction of Ricardo Tishi, the Antigona is a perfect example of Givenchy's fashion forward attitude and edgy flair. Tishi's artistic signature is traditionally a play on contrast in femininity with masculine silhouettes in both his accessory and clothing lines. And the Antigona perfectly encapsulates this. The name Antigona was inspired by the powerful Greek mythology heroine Antigone, who was Oedipus's daughter. Antigone means unbending and is significant of her strong, fiery, daring and defiant personality. Antigone endured despite the challenges and tragedies of her life. The Antigona bag is a robust, sleek and timeless classic, fusing and balancing the equilibrium between soft and strong, masculine and feminine, alluring and confident. Not just a statement piece, it's an ultra stylish investment piece that will see you through for many years. And at number 20, we have the Dior saddle bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,600 for the mini size. The Dior Saddlebag was designed and debuted in 1999 on the runway for John Galliano's Spring-Summer 2000 collection. Galliano's first bag for Dior was a bag in the shape of a horse saddle. The saddle bag was ubiquitous and quickly propelled into the mainstream. The bag quickly became the most talked about accessory and was seen on the arms of every it girl, both real and fictional, in the mainstream in the late 90s and early 2000s. From Paris Hilton to Carrie Bradshaw, the kidney-shaped classic bag also made pop culture being featured on Sex and the City. The Dior saddle bag is easily recognisable due to its unique shape. It features a short shoulder strap and bold hardware and is worn tight against the arms. Initially, the Dior saddle bag was an instant hit, but only a year later, the purse began to fade and fashionistas moved on to the next it bag. But in 2014, Beyonce catapulted the Dior saddle bag firmly back into the global fashion scene and she was spotted wearing a vintage version, which was then followed in hot pursuit by many other Hollywood A-listers. 
The rise in popularity and increased demand for vintage versions of the Dior saddle bag was so hard to ignore by the Dior fashion house. And in 2018, the must-have statement bag of the late 90s was revived for Dior under the creative direction of Maria Grazia Turi. It became the centerpiece of the Dior fashion house once again. Quite the revival for the Dior saddle bag. However, it's back here to stay and has become a street style staple for a more daring fashionista and is definitely one to consider for your luxury collection. <laughs>